coming up. Does Internet Explorer uh, shut down unexpectedly when it comes across an error but never says why? Or does it come up and it's real slow when it comes up to loading pages? Well stay tuned and I'll show you how to correct these problems. Hello and welcome to another episode by EOS Repair. I am your host, Mr. Fixit. In this video, I get emails and calls about Internet Explorer because it starts up real slow or it hangs, it freezes up. Um, other times it will uh, just close off unexpectedly saying that Internet Explorer has encountered a problem, must shut down, blah, 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 things like that. Well, I'm going to show you how you, what you can do to fix this problem. A lot of times it can be caused by uh, toolbars that you may have added or plugins, extensions, things like that that are added to Internet Explorer. And there are times, sometimes these toolbars are not always compatible or they become corrupted to where they don't function correctly. Well I'm going to show you how you can uh, troubleshoot the problem with Internet Explorer and get Internet Explorer back up and running correctly. Here I'm going to show you my Windows 7 desktop and I'm going to show you how to fix most of the common problems with Internet Explorer. Now with Internet Explorer and any other browser there is you'll have uh, plugins or extensions, add-ons, things like that and from a lot of the computers that I've worked with and uh, people that I've helped and seen a lot of these toolbars uh, a lot of these toolbars and add-ons uh, are not always compatible with Internet Explorer and some of these are designed to cause problems with Internet Explorer now what I'm going to do is show you how to correct some of the problems with the Internet Explorer uh, a lot of times what happens is Internet Explorer crashes, it's encountered an error, and it won't start, or it's real slow to start, it's slow to uh, load a page. Well, here we are going to show you how to do um, a, a reset to Internet Explorer. And it's very simple. Go to the left, bottom left hand corner down here and click your start menu or start button. Then over here in the right column, go to Control Panel. Now if you see these, uh, this is the category view. Look over here to the top right. And you'll see where it says View By. Click on the category and then choose either large or small icons. I'm going to choose large so it will be easier to see. Now if you see this screen, then you're okay. This is where we need to be. Now what we need to do is we need to go to Internet Options. Now the icons are in alphabetical order from left to right. And what we're going to do is go over here to Internet Options. Now you'll see a window here that will pop up. And this is the basic uh, Internet Options. Now you'll see this in all the inter, uh, Internet Explorers. Now this will work from Internet Explorer and up. 
Now, the next thing we need to do is go over here to the right side where it says Tab and click Advanced. Now, here you'll see all the settings and stuff. What we want to do is go down here. It'll say Reset Internet Explorer Settings. Well, right here you see the Reset button. Here you'll see, are you sure you want to reset all Internet Explorer settings? And then it's going to give you a list of all the things it's going to reset. It's going to do everything from disabling toolbars and add-ons, web browser settings, privacy settings, security settings, advanced options, uh, tab browsing settings, pop-up settings. So it's going to reset every single thing that's been changed. And a lot of these changes are done by add-ons or extensions. Next, you want to go over here where it says delete in, uh, personal settings. Now, here is going to delete um, uh, home page, reset it back to the original, which is usually MSN or Bing. Uh, any kind of history, ActiveX filtering, it's going to reset any kind of personal settings. Now, if you have ferrets and bookmarks, don't worry. It won't erase those. It's just going to erase any kind of settings that you had for a web page. Next, we'll just choose Reset. And then you'll see all of the uh, green check marks by each uh, category that it had reset. Once it does this, you can choose Close. Now, if you're for some reason your computer has to be restarted, then now is the time to restart your computer. Now let me go ahead and exit out of this. And now we're back up here to um, inter, uh, Windows 7 Desktop. Next, what you need to do is you can go down here and start Internet Explorer. Now you'll notice it will go right back to MSN. You will also will see a window that pops up. And it's going to ask you to set up Internet Explorer. Now, yours may be slightly different if you're running Windows, uh, Internet Explorer 8, 9, or 10. And when it comes up, you always want to make sure that you use recommended security and compatibility settings. And then choose OK. Now down here, you may, you may get this, it's just want to know if you want Internet Explorer to be your default browser. Um, if you have other browsers such as Firefox like you see down here, or Google Chrome, then uh, whichever one you want to use, you can choose yes or no. In this case, I'm just going to choose no. Now once you maximize this, you'll see that it's created two tabs up here. Now this one here is talking about, as this is just like you reset Internet Explorer. Well, you can go ahead and exit out of that. And now, you should notice that your computer is now working good. Now, let's check it out. We'll go to my website. And there you go. So now you can see that Internet Explorer is working much, much better. Now, another thing I want to show you, let me go ahead. Now, in some of these, uh, especially from uh, 9 and 10, I believe 8 does this too. You'll see up here in the right-hand corner, you'll see a house for home, your star, which is for your favorites, and then you have the gear. Well, the gear is what we want. Now, when the menu pops up, you go down here to Internet Options, and then you'll bring it back up. Now, see here, this is your home page. And what this is, is anytime Windows or Internet Explorer begins, this is the page it will automatically go to. Remember, when we started the computer, or started the Internet Explorer, it came up to MSN. Well, let's change it. Let's put this as current. What this will do is 
if you're viewing a page then you can choose use current and as you can see it changed it or you can use default and it will put it back to default for Microsoft or you can use a blank and what this does is it just loads a blank page now if your Internet Explorer is starting up and it's not showing anything look up here in the address bar and see if it says about blank or about tabs and what this does is it just brings up an empty tab or a, bl a blank page so let me go ahead and use default or use current come down here choose apply then choose OK now watch what happens let me go ahead and shut it off now watch what happens when you restart Internet Explorer it will always come to this page now let me go to another website Now, here I can go to YouTube, watch some videos. Now, if you need to go back to your home, such as, say, most people I've talked to, they had their home page set to where they could check their emails online. Well, well, if you check that and you need to go back and go to your home page, just click on the little home right up here. And there you go. It goes right back to your home page. Well, that's all you need to do to get Internet Explorer working again. Uh, the next thing you can check for is when you get Internet Explorer running, you can go up here to start, and then you can choose um, Manage Add-ons. Here, if you go under Toolbars and Extensions, you'll see all of the toolbars that were disabled. Now, the trick part here is you can go in and select which ones you want to work. Now, if, if it's something you recognize, such as Shockwave, Flash, uh, Windows Live, uh, your Antivirus, your Nortons, uh, anything that you recognize, then you can re-enable. Now, this is a good tool to discover which add-on is causing the problem. So when you enable an add-on and then your Internet Explorer messes up again, you've identified which add-on it's causing the problem. Over here, you can choose your search uh, providers if you want to change them. And that is all you need to do to help get Windows Internet Explorer back up and running. Well, this concludes this episode by ES Repair. I've shown you how you uh, reset an Internet Explorer to diagnose the problem. A lot of times it's because of these plugins or uh, adware may have gotten into your computer and it's causing wreaking havoc with your Internet Explorer. Well, I'm your host, Mr. Fixit. This has been a presentation by ES Repair. Thank you for watching.